Welcome back to Chope Plays. If you watched my last video, I showed you how to stream to Twitch from your PlayStation 4 without any extra hardware. And then you get all excited, you go make a Twitch channel, get down, sit on your couch, and you realize, I don't really have a PS4. I've got an Xbox One. I got you covered. Streaming from the Xbox One to Twitch is just as easy as streaming from the PS4. So let's jump back on the Xbox One and let's get it done. All right, so here we are on the Xbox One. There is one thing you're gonna need in order to get this working, and that is the Twitch app. It's a free download from the Microsoft Store. Uh, I do have it installed on this, but I'm gonna show you where to find it. So if you go to the store, go down to search. If you start typing in Twitch, P, W, it should come up fairly quickly. I'm gonna click on the Twitch app. There will be an option to download and install this. If you do not have it, I already have this, so I'm gonna click launch. And then you're going to have to link your Twitch account to your Xbox. So in the top right here, you're going to go to the little person icon. And that's gonna give you a code to go to link your account to your Xbox. So you're gonna to go to twitch.tv slash activate. And once you're there, you're going to log into Twitch with the account you want synced. So the account that you're gonna be streaming on is the one you're gonna log in with. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in, verify I'm not a robot, and then activate your device. All you're gonna do is put in the code that is displayed on the Xbox. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in now and click activate. And it's gonna say good to go. So back over on the Xbox, it's going to automatically log me in. And when I'm ready to broadcast, I'm gonna to go to the top left there and say broadcast. And then I'm gonna see all my broadcast settings. The first thing there on the left is the stream title. I'm gonna leave that testing stream stuff just because I'm testing it. Uh, Xbox will automatically populate the game title based off of the game that you're playing on the Xbox. It's kind of smart like that. Language, whichever language you're streaming in. In my case, it's English. One great thing about the Xbox as compared to the PlayStation 4 streaming is you can use almost any USB webcam. Uh, I think every Logitech webcam does work. Any USB webcam, you just plug it into the USB port on your Xbox One. In this case, I'm using the Logitech C922. That's a pretty popular webcam for streaming. So I'm gonna put that back up here on the top beside my other webcam that you're watching this on. You can choose the camera position. So bottom left, center bottom, bottom right, top right. I'm gonna put bottom left because I already have a camera overlay on the bottom right. Uh, the broadcast bar position, that's where you get your stream information of how many viewers you have. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna put that center bottom just so it's kind of out of the way. Microphone, if you have a chat headset, such as my Astro A40s, uh, with a microphone that I use to chat in parties or with friends or just game chat, that's the microphone that you're going to use to also talk to your Twitch stream. I'm not using that right now, so mine's grayed out. My microphone is muted. If my mic was available and I was using it, I could obviously change the microphone volume there. Party chat, now this is a little, a little dicey, little tricky on the Xbox. Uh, in order to have this option available, I think you already have to be in a party and your party also has to accept the fact that you're broadcasting that their voice. So they'll get a, a pop-up that allows them to uh, accept or deny broadcasting of their voice and it'll automatically mute that for you. I don't really have any friends, so my party chat is not available. Game volume. That's of course the volume of the game. You can mute that, turn that down, whatever. The next part is bitrate. This is very important. This is the number of bits per second you are sending to Twitch. Uh, this depends heavily on your upload speed. So you wanna make sure your upload speed can handle uh, the bitrate that you have set. In this case, 4,500 is well within my limits. You can click automatic. So I'm gonna hit automatic. It's gonna perform a broadcast quality test. It's gonna automatically set the stream resolution and the bitrate for me. So that's done, it takes a couple seconds. So mine is set to 6,500. The good thing with that is that means I can stream 1080p if I want to. But the bad part of that is 
people have to be able to receive 6,500 bits per second and 1080p video, which if you're watching on a mobile device is nearly impossible at this point. So it's best to turn this down. Uh, I'm gonna set it around 4,000. That's gonna be plenty enough for 720. So I'm gonna change my resolution to 720. That's a great starting point. A lot more people will be able to get into your stream and watch your stream without a whole lot of buffering. So I recommend 720p if you're streaming straight from your Xbox and bitrate 4000 is plenty big enough to stream at 720p. Uh, but you need to check your, your upload speed. So not your download speed. Your download speed is, your download speed has nothing to do with the bitrate that you're sending to Twitch. Now this is the stream resolution. This does not mean it's going to mess up your game resolution. So if you're gaming in 4K or 1080, it's not going to downscale your gameplay to 720 on your TV or your monitor. This is just the resolution that the stream is going to see uh, on the back end of Twitch. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about downscaling that resolution and thinking you're only going to be playing in 720p. You're still going to play in what you're playing in. People are just going to see it in a lower resolution. After that's done, I'm going to hit start streaming and now we're live. So I've linked my account. I've set all of my options, my bit rate, my resolution, set my title. And so down in the bottom left, um, you see the live tells me which channel I'm live on my Chope plays test channel in the middle. You see that uh, it is currently paused right now because I am in a, I'm not in a game. So it is paused in the settings. It'll pause your stream. So people can't see any of your settings. Uh, it'll show me how many viewers, are actually watching how long I've been live if my microphone is muted and also if I have a webcam so I'm gonna hit the Xbox home button and I'm gonna go back to Apex Legends and load that up and now that we're in Apex Legends I'm going to switch back over to the uh, PC so you can see what the channel actually looks like uh, because on the Xbox you don't see the webcam but now you can see the webcam over there on the bottom left is where we put it uh, you notice that you don't see the broadcast bar in the middle that you see on your Xbox because people don't need to set information. That's pretty much for you. And your stream is live. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, the webcam is working. And you're good to go. Now there is one major drawback that I found with streaming on Xbox. When you stream straight from the PS4, you get a the option to have a chat bar on the side of the screen. That does smash your gameplay window down, but you can see your chat on the TV or wherever you're gaming, so you can keep up with chat and talk back. Uh, there is no option for that on the Xbox. What happens on the Xbox is you're going to need the probably Twitch app, an old laptop or another PC that you can monitor the chat on so that you can respond appropriately. Uh, whether you wanna type in the chat, you're gonna need a keyboard for that or use, you know, using your phone or the mobile app. Uh, you cannot chat directly on the Xbox. So it's a little bit of a drawback to me, but I always have two monitors up. It's easy for me to see the chat and respond accordingly. And then uh, there's also the party chat thing. So people have to opt in for you to be able to broadcast their party chat. All right, so when you're done, let's go back to the Xbox. I'm going to hit the home button on my controller, go back to the Twitch app. And then down in the bottom left, you'll see stop streaming. So I'm going to stop streaming. My stream is ended. I can go back to the game if I want to through the home button or cut the Xbox off, whatever I need to do. If you need to unlink your Twitch account or you want to stream to another Twitch account, uh, up in the top right, go back to the little person icon and you can go to sign out and that will sign you out of Twitch and take you back to the Twitch app homepage. Uh, if you want to broadcast again, you'll have to sign in again or just stay signed in if that's your main account. I don't stream on that test account that was just for this video. Super simple. So there you go. So you can see streaming from your Xbox is just as simple as streaming from your PlayStation 4. Uh, you do need the Twitch app download. A little extra step, but it also allows you to watch other Twitch streams as well. If you don't wanna stream, you just wanna watch people, you can watch it from your Xbox, which is super handy if you ask me. Uh, the other major drawback of course is the chat. You will need a separate device to monitor chat whether that be a laptop, uh, anything with a web browser really, or the mobile app, tablets, phones, whatever you have. Not a huge deal breaker, but for some people that are just using their TV and may not have a phone, 
the two people out there that don't have a phone. Um, just keep that in mind. Super simple, super quick and easy. There you go. If you like the content, please think about subscribing. If you wanna watch the other video, I'm gonna put it up here somewhere. Thank you for hanging out. I love you all. Peace.